Congratulations, Thank Ash. Thank you very much. It's a remarkable thing. We're talking about that walk. Is, it's basically a year. That's right, 352 days, 4,000 miles. Through. Finished this month, right? Finished earlier this month? Yeah, only on the 12th, yeah. yeah. That's quite something. Are you on your own for some of that time or most of that time? Yeah, for most of it. You know, I'd, more, I'd like more people to join me. Uh, <laughs> it gets quite lonely, quite boring, but a lot of the time it is on my own because there's a lot of dangerous scenarios that I'm facing. Did you lose a lot of your team yeah. when I say lose? They left you <laughs> on, yeah, day, one, yeah, yeah, that's on right. day one of this trip. You know, before we actually reached the source of the Yangtze, I think we lost three different film crew because of altitude sickness or fear of wildlife. So that was difficult to deal Talk with. Talk to us, fear of wildlife. I mean, this is not just a sort of... Im the locals were telling you to get away from That's the area, yeah. And that they? was the issue. The locals were stressing how dangerous this Which wildlife? Is. What, what were you under threat from? The bears, mainly. I was it, already it, trekking, yeah, so I just it, needed to be vigilant. I wanted to come back safe, so I'd always try to rest it, with the locals. Also, the, the, the process by which a bear or wolf finds its calories through a human being without being graphic <laughs> is obviously going to be terrifying. I mean, exactly, it, it's... Yeah. it's uh, so you were in a vulnerable situation. And yeah. people came and went. Obviously, no one's with you the whole time, otherwise mm. they'd have the record too. That's right. But at yeah. times, you are on your own. You've got a sat The satellite phone works the whole time, does it? It so was great. Just Navarino, we can just call in uh, to the base in Beijing at any point if I'm in any trouble. But even so, if you were to be attacked by a wild animal, yeah. making a phone call to Beijing isn't really going to make it. <laughs> really, yeah. Could yeah. you right. call the bears yeah. off, yeah. please? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that. yeah, it doesn't really work. Oh so this is, why, this is why it took two years to plan. You know, a lot of people think it's going to be dangerous, it's going to be reckless, but a lot of it is meticulous preparation. Mm. It's looking at the challenges and how you can overcome them. So had you travelled out there many, many times in those two years? I to, had, yeah. To yeah. spot where you're going to exactly be? Exactly that, so, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's, it's a proper mission. I mean, it it's like climbing Mount Everest. You don't just do it. Exactly. Wake and up. as high as Everest yeah, as well at times, isn't it? More it's or less, as high it? as Everest, basically. Base camp, the source yeah. of it, yeah. The source of it is amazing. You can just step over it. It's a small... And the, I mean, I've walked a very short section of the Yangtze River. Oh, have you? Uh, only nice. in Shanghai. It's a lovely That's sort quite of... quite a coincidence. Yeah. 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 But, but, I mean, and it is absolutely breathtaking. It's it is beautiful. And that was part of the reason you wanted to do it, is, exactly. is to highlight part of... This is, the, is it the longest river in a single country yeah, in the world? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. What kind of magnificence did you see and you. experience? Yeah, it's it's literally China has a bit of every country in one, from its high high mountains to its deep valleys to its tropics as well. You are crossing through all sorts of weather systems, terrain. There's different wildlife, different cultures as well. We were filming for an international uh, documentary, so we were capturing the whole diversity of China, you know, and partnering with organisations like the WWF as well, of course. And also, to understand that you are sponsored to do this, you've done similar, or at least not wholly dissimilar, very long walks in the past. So mm. this is how you make your living. It is, you are, you're paid to do this. This is it now. For the first five years, it was just for the pure love and the passion. But since we've started to make it more interactive, more engaging, I've released the book Mission Possible, which was a good hit. We've started to develop more. And you've yeah. become famous in China. Yeah. I mean, it genuine. Went, like, it went down well, really If you well. walk down the street in somewhere in... Shanghai now, would people know who you were? Oh, I don't know to that extent, because there's so many people, but there were a lot of people aware of Mission Yangtze, because they were intrigued. I was sharing such crazy co content and at wild. At the end, quite a lot of people were there to greet you at the end. At the end, it was they? great, yeah. yeah. Um, and we've look at the photos behind you as well. It, it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it, it was stunning. It, really, really was. It, it is... Will you keep doing this? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, I think this is just the beginning, just the warm-up. Uh, I think it's going to kickstart even more so far. Are there yeah. points when it's very boring? You know, are there the, points... A hundred percent. And you know what? My background is, it's martial arts. I was a scuba diving instructor living in Thailand. I was a Muay Thai fighter. Did you uh, have to I've use any of these close-quarter street biting to get through? Fortunately, I didn't. The locals <laughs> were amazing. Locals were amazing. Yeah. So well, walking can get boring when you're hooked on all of these yeah. Can I say, by the way, you must be taught as part of the preparation then if you were approached by the sorts of wild animals searching for those calories that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. There are techniques all there that you can use to, to, to ward them off. To keep them at bay, yeah. To keep keep, well, what, how do you keep a bear at bay? So a bear, if you're travelling, just make them aware of your presence. Blow the whistle. Don't walk at night time. Don't attract attention. Don't cook near your tent. You know, and That's it? You see a bear, you blow a whistle? Yeah, if you've if you got a whistle, the, the biggest attacks happen whether you approach the bear and it happens by surprise and then it's in shock then, then it will attack you.
but if it's aware that you're coming, it will normally try to straight wow. away. Wow. Uh, you could use that in Mansfield when you go home. <laughs> so, all right, a little bit of knowledge. So, and, uh, you have to do way. more than blow a whistle there to go. walk yeah. up yeah. there in Mansfield. <laughs> um, Ash, you're wonderful. Congratulations. Much you're appreciated. You're in the stuff. Guinness Book of Records. You have a documentary being shown in many countries, not been born in the UK. Yes. Yet. You hope to get it shown in the UK hope as well. We hope it gets made. It's an amazing achievement. Thank you, Ash. Appreciate that. Thank you.